Hello, my name's Tom and I've been messing about in Reaper and trying out some uh, new tricks and techniques for me and I've basically shoehorned them into a sort of musical piece and I thought I'd make a video about it. So, um, the first thing I've used, and I've used pretty much all free stuff on this, so you can all try this at home if you want to try out any of your ideas. So I just made up a chord sequence um, just to play in Vital, which is free synth, it's very good. I'll just play you a bit of that so you can just hear it. <laughs> Okay, so then the next step, in order to do some of the things I wanted to do, um, I needed to um, convert it into an actual audio file rather than just the MIDI here, so a stereo audio file. So to do that, right click on it, go to render, render tracks to stereo and mute originals, click on that, a few seconds later it will create the audio track so then I'm not using this one now and then I wanted to add in some drums so I just clicked in with my fingers on the keyboard on tap to find some drums and what I found so I didn't want to use that for the drums what I wanted to do is um, use uh, hipster bongos. So all I do is I copy this over to this track here, but then that won't fit exactly. So it's on patterns. So just open it up to where that starts. So they'll end up down here somewhere the MIDI pattern so just move them up to here and just move the different parts of the drum so they use the four notes it's using so so if I just play a little bit of that okay so Remember to turn that off when I show you the whole thing. So then what I wanted to be able to do is I wanted to set up um, a gate to so that the so that the drums affect the keyboards. So you get a sort of jittery sound fitting them in. So what I also did was I created just a bass drum track. So on the bass drum here, I did a copy of the original one here and then you can just right click the actual drum file copy that and you can just paste kick so this is just the kick on here and then I want to send this to the to the keyboards to a gate so the easiest thing is to do you go you click on the there for root and you can see I've already set up a send and I'm sending it to the vital and I set it pre fader so it doesn't affect so the volume if the actual bass drum doesn't affect affect it if you change it afterwards and then I set up audio one two so three and four which is what you would use to pick it up to use on the gate to side chain it so now if I look at the track for the actual keyboards. So this is the audio track, not the MIDI going to it. And I've got rear gate. So this is just, you just go to add here and it's it's just um, one of the standard Reaper ones. And you can see here that I set up automation. So to do that, I don't want to be doing this all the time. So I so yeah. So to start with, I don't do it, and then just when it comes in, and I bring it in, and I'm and I'm and applying the gate to it, which will make it judgery. So to do the automation, I'll just show you on the track there. Is what you do. Is you click on here.
and you can see it's a bypass here. So I just select that and then you'll see the line here and then you can right click anywhere and you just do create new point and then you move it about to go on and off. So it's just straight on and off on this one. So it's simple. So I'll, I'll play it from here. And then you'll hear it comes in on here and you'll get sort of a judgery sound on it. So. OK, so that's one thing I just wanted to try. And then later on in the track, you'll see that it goes back to normal and sounds a bit fuller. But it's, so it's a bit of a novelty thing. It just makes it gives it a different feel. It's something new technique to try out. So. Um, the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to try and automate contact on the other section. So if you follow the drums through on here, on the keyboard, actually follow the, follow the sound of the keyboards, you can see I stopped playing here. So I've got a sort of like middle section where it breaks down to just for drums, to just for, just for hipster bongos. And what I wanted to try and do, which I couldn't see to do to start with, is I wanted to automate this here. So you've got an annoyingness button, which makes it even more annoying. And I wanted to turn that up in maximum when it just goes down to the drums and has a quiet bit. But with a VST, you can just do it in the way I showed you before by clicking on hit, clicking on trim, and you find all the buttons, and you do it, and then, and then it will create a automation channel, and you can do it that. But as this is contact, you can't do that. So what you have to do is you click on automation and then you'll see assigned ones here. So all you do is you click on a MIDI channel, you drag it across to the control you want, and then it will show here. So for the annoyingness here, it's shown up as red. So that means I can turn it on from here. So. If we look at the annoyingness, here you go, annoy contact. You can see I turn it up here and then you'll be quite annoying. So I'll play that and you can see what happens. <laughs> You can't fully appreciate bongos unless you listen in Spanish. OK, so sometimes you, you end up getting more talking bits than others. On this, you can also do um, background noises, coffee, and you can also add in mistakes so you can make it sound even more crap. Um, I have got a video which shows um, some interesting alternative free VSTs and libraries. So I'll put a link in that the video for that as well if you want to try out these. Um, so what's the next thing I did? Oh, yeah. So the next thing I wanted to try was I wanted to do, um, I thought it would make it a bit more interesting just on the drum bits if I maybe did some kind of ping pong panning. So I set up another automation channel for this. This is just um, another uh, Jesus Sonic one, so you can just find it in the JS folder. So that's straight ahead to set up the automation on that. So you'll see I've just brought it in here. So just to, I'll just play a little bit of this and you can just maybe hear it going from left to right. Totes. Yeah, I was into bongos two years before they came in. There you go. So you got a bit more talking on that one as well from the annoying hipster. And then on the next bit going in, you'll see I've got another channel, Satan Verb. Now Satan Verb is another free Jesus Sonic one. This doesn't come um, in the JS folder straight away in Reaper, so, but there's a lot of good um, Jesus Sonic plugins you can get which aren't included. But I have done a video called um, Top 5 Jesus Sonic JSFX plugins, and that gives you instructions on how you can get hold of all these free 
plugins, which are, can be quite fun to play with. And on this bit, you can see follow the automation line that starts here. So um, I'll just play. Actually, I'll just solo that. It'll be easier to hear so you can see what's going on. I'll just solo it for the moment. Okay, so that just brings that in on the end. So, right, what are the other things I've got to add it in? Oh, yeah, I mean, one thing, well, it would be a bit more nicer to be a bit more popular on YouTube. So I suppose one way would be if you were to subscribe and click like and all that. But I thought something else that might be worth trying was just introducing some more cats into my videos. So I've got this one. This is in my video on interesting VSTs as well. So I thought I'd add this in. So I'll solo this one, play it so you can see. That's enough of that. I'm sure you can get the idea. Add another texture in. So all I did with that is I just copied over the MIDI from here into the other channel, put the VST on. I don't need to turn it on and off because I just copied the MIDI on the bits where I wanted it to play. And so the other thing you probably noticed when you were looking at, when you're looking at it to start with, is at the beginning is there's these drudgery bits. So where I chop it up. So if you don't know how to do that, what to do is you go to, well, normally, also you might've noticed that this is divided up into much smaller sections along here, instead of like, like that, it's like 16th. Actually, I think it's 30 seconds. So what you do is you go to options, you go to find it now. Um, yeah, snap grid, snap grid settings, and here it would just be normally one four. So I've changed it to one thirty two. And then if you want to chop it up into bits, what you can do is you can just select where you want on there, right click, and you just cut the bit and then you can cut bits out. So I'll just play you a bit of that so you can hear. I do another bit slightly differently just before it goes into like the breakdown bit. Okay, so I then wasn't sure how I wanted to end it. So I thought what a good thing to do might be to do a sort of like um the effect of like a tape, a real tape machine running out and crashing. So you can do that for play speed. So what you need to do for that is you go to view, master track, and then you'll see it here. And then on the master track, go to trim again, and you can see play rate. So that's how fast speed it runs. So you can make your songs go faster or slower, and you can automate that in there. So you click on there and then you'll see the line along here. So it's here. And then at the end, I'll get to it in a minute. There you go. You do insert point there and insert at the end and then it will gradually sort of slow down at the end. So I'll just check I've got everything muted, which I should do and everything showing. That seems, yeah, that seems right. So um, before I play you my final masterpiece, um, as I said, I've got quite a few more videos to watch. I've got quite a few other production ticks and tricks and techniques also that I could show you on another musical piece if anyone's interested. So, yeah, have a listen. <laughs> Thank you. 
girlfriend made this coat from raw apaca wool. I like your jeans, are they hemp? Yeah, deep. Oh, <laughs> 